It's a demon, by the way. The word daimon in Greek means intelligence. So demon, daimon, the Greek word, means intelligence. But what is a demon? And a demon is an intelligent spirit. And a demon is a fallen angel. Angels are ministering spirits, it says in chapter 1 of the book of Hebrews, verse 14. Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for those who shall be heirs of salvation? So an angel is a spirit. And a spirit that follows God is called an angel. But a spirit that rebels against God and follows the devil is called a demon. And, but they're both intelligent. They've been around for thousands of years. They know every language in the human um, on earth, every human language, because they've been here for thousands of years. A baby can learn a language in a year. Demons have learned every language of every people. And they know everything going on. They are immaterial, so they can go through walls. I'm not sure if any are around here because they don't usually like anything to do with Christ when he's proclaimed. But they can go through any security, no matter what it is, so they hear everything. You talk about you know, surveillance and the surveillance state, demons listen to everything. I remember when I was little, my pastor was uh, in Edward W. Sparrow Hospital having an appendicitis uh, or appendix removal, and he was, back then, it wasn't as fancy as now, they just had these little curtains between the bed, and there were three beds in the room, and he was laying there in his bed getting better from his appendicitis, and he heard a voice through the curtain that said, I know who you are. And so he looks at the curtain and said, well, hello over there. I didn't really know anybody was over there. I've been kind of sleeping with my surgery. And the guy says, I know who you are. And so he had his wife pull the curtain and there's this very unhappy man laying in the bed. He said, I know who you are. And he was the local male witch, a warlock. You know, he was a male witch. Uh, which even they get sick, and he had surgery too. But he was this Satanist. He was an occultic practitioner. And he didn't like all the reading and praying and singing and the people reading the scriptures to the pastor and everything. And so he said, I know who you are. And my pastor said to him, he says, well, who are you? And he said, he said it doesn't matter who I am, but he said, I've been in your house. And the pastor said, prove it. And the man said, the tile under your refrigerator is yellow. And Pastor Hawarda laughed and looked at him and said, the, the floor is green. And the man said, the tile under your refrigerator is yellow. As soon as he got well, he pushed the refrigerator. It was painted to the floor and went, <coughs> and when he moved it, it was yellow. That man hadn't really been in the house. That man was inhabited by a demon. When you go to a seance, which we shouldn't, when you go to a fortune teller, which we shouldn't, when you, when you are involved in the occult, demons know things humans can't possibly know. Why? Because they've been everywhere. They go everywhere. They can go through any barrier. They listen in. They know where every buried treasure is. They know where every pirate buried everything. They know where all the treasures of the pharaohs are. They know what's in the pyramids. They've been everywhere. There's nothing hidden from them. They just are, they're not omnipresent. They just go everywhere. They're just wandering around. And they're super powerful. 